The Challenger 3 is the strongest tank for the British Army, and one Russia should truly fear in a showdown with NATO. The UK are spending over a billion dollars to upgrade their existing Challenger 2. The updated Challenger 3 main battle tank will have a better turret and gun, an improved fire control system, a new day or night and all-weather sight, front and rear thermal cameras, and new modular armor for the turret. The Challenger 2 main battle tank was state-of-the-art 25 years ago, but it definitely needed a new lease on life. The biggest problem of the Challenger 2 was that it used a rifled gun barrel. Rifled barrels produce more friction for the munitions and reduce the power of the round fired. The UK was the last country in NATO to have rifled gun barrels. The Challenger 3 will now have a new 120mm smoothbore gun that will allow it to use all modern ordnance. The smoothbore gun has a longer barrel and a higher chamber pressure so the round fired will leave the barrel with more speed. That added punch will make it more deadly on the battlefield. A major milestone has been reached for the British Army's Challenger 3 main battle tank program, with test firings of the new gun being complete and the basic turret structure being delivered. This deadly new weapon system would give the Army the capability to confront all current and future battlefield challenges. Military officials hope the Challenger 3 program will deliver the most capable tank in the world. The joint endeavor by Rheinmetall and Bay Systems, prominent players in the global defense sector, confirmed that the 120mm L55A1 smoothbore gun, designated L55A1CR3 for its UK-specific version, passed firing assessments. The announcement revealed that the gun's performance evaluations took place in April. The tested guns are now awaiting delivery to Rheinmetall Bay Systems land to be incorporated into the digital turrets of the tanks. The Challenger 2 has a rifled barrel, which is exceptionally accurate, however NATO counterparts such as the Germany's Leopard 2, American M1A2 Abrams, and French Leclerc have smoothbore barrels, which increase barrel life and improve ammunition compatibility. Hence the move to the new main gun on the British Army's Challenger 3 main battle tank. The Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore cannon does not rely on rifling to maintain accuracy. Instead, it uses a combination of advanced technologies, such as computerized fire control systems and advanced projectiles, to achieve high levels of accuracy. The fire control system in the Challenger 3 uses a variety of sensors to gather data on the tank's position, the position of the target, and the environmental conditions. This data is then used to calculate the optimal firing solution, taking into account factors such as the distance to the target, the wind speed and direction, and the angle of the cannon. The advanced projectiles used in the Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore cannon also play a role in maintaining accuracy. These projectiles are designed with a series of fins that allow them to stabilize in flight, much like a dart. This stabilization improves the projectile's accuracy, particularly at longer ranges. In addition, the smoothbore cannon's lack of rifling allows for the use of fin-stabilized projectiles, which have a higher velocity and longer range than rifled projectiles, thus increasing the cannon's accuracy and range. Overall, the Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore cannon is able to maintain accuracy through a combination of advanced technologies and specialized projectiles, rather than relying on traditional rifling. Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, a name synonymous with advanced defense tech, revealed recently the successful second phase integration of its trophy protection system, designed exclusively for the Challenger 3.
Raphael's Trophy Active Protection System was developed in response to successful anti-armor attacks by enemies. The system can provide mature, combat-proven protection against rocket and missile attacks while also pinpointing the source of hostile fire for immediate response. Additionally, the trophy increases the survivability of combat forces, allowing them to neutralize more targets. In the manufacturing trajectory, the structural foundations for the Challenger 3 are being assembled at Rheinmetall Bay Systems Lands Facility in Telford. Just last month, the inaugural Citadel, the steel core for the tank's turret for the Prototype 1, was received. This structure, while first earmarked for trial, will later be retrofitted to be part of the operational Challenger 3 tank. These essential Citadels are the craftsmanship of Pearson Engineering, a UK enterprise under Raphael's ownership. The British Army's Challenger 3 main battle tanks and the new Leopard 2 tanks of Norway and Germany will soon be equipped with a cutting-edge protection system from Raphael. Called the Trophy Active Protection System, the technology is expected to provide armored vehicles with indispensable protection against modern battlefield threats. Last week, a joint venture of General Dynamics, Krauss Maffei Wegman, and Raphael announced that the Trophy Active Protection System had been selected as the baseline protection system of the Leopard 2A-8 configuration. The milestone reportedly makes the Trophy one of the most successful active protection system integrated into various Western main battle tanks, including the Abrams M1 and the Merkava 4. Norway recently commissioned 54 Leopard 2s in a minus 8 standard configuration, while Germany will soon take delivery of up to 123 units. Earlier this month, the UK Ministry of Defence awarded Raphael a £20 million, or $25 million contract to supply the Trophy Active Protection System for its Challenger 3s. The contract follows a rigorous evaluation of the system's ability to protect British tank operators. A series of live fire tests conducted in 2022 reportedly demonstrated the trophy's effectiveness as it helped a representative tank endure over 90% of simulated attacks.